Well, hello everyone, and I guess you're back for, well, my terrible content. Anyway, so, this is a video from a Smurf account, got unranked at, uh, last rank was Silver 1, quite an achievement to get it down there, and didn't play on it for a while, got unranked, and this is the re-ranking game, still gonna be ranked at Silver 1, respectively, even though I dropped 45 kills. Anyway, so... What is this video on? Because you're obviously not going to bitch about your smurf account. Well, one, it's going to be on the Inferno map. There hasn't been really much talk about it lately. And I do apologize about this demo. I tried re-recording it, but it didn't change anything. It's how CSGO's shitty demo stuff recorded it, or did it. Anyway, so what is going on with this Inferno shit that we used to love? Well, I don't know. Nobody really knows. Um, it has been pretty much quiet in the community for, well, well over a month at this point. Um, and it just kind of been a sad situation because, or wait, way longer than a month. They, like, they did this back in like January or February, I think. But, browsing Reddit real briefly before I made this video so I don't sound like a complete fucking idiot and actually know some of the stuff, not just an incompetent guy going for the, the sweet YouTube ad revenue. But, at the end of the day, um, what we end up with is, there was a Reddit thread that I found that actually was talking about some high-resolution textures, or HR prefixes on a bunch of textures, in the, um, in a bunch of random folders of other maps. And there's, and there one's referencing Inferno for some reason. I don't know why there would be one in a cobblestone map, but, you know Valve. Wait, no, nope, we don't, because they don't tell us anything. But, so, regardless. At the end of the day, well, we end up with very little information on this, but some of the information includes... Fuck off. Um, but the information that we have presented currently is, well, some HR texture files that have been removed since this discovery, actually. Very unfortunate. Uh, thank you, Valve, for being assholes about this. And there is my monetization. Thank you, YouTube heroes. You are worse than the Nazis, probably. Anyway, so... What is Inferno going to have? Well, one of the textures that actually got screenshotted before it got deleted from all the game files and stuff before that went down, well, was a very large area in a very high-resolution um, 4K image of tiles so like they're gonna put tiles somewhere I, I don't know where maybe on one of the bomb sites like a site or something it, it honestly looked like something you would have seen on the previous um operation where i was like uh the the tiles you'd see on like santorini but really nothing else came out of that and i did more research into it about 45 minutes of research total and not much came out valve has been Pretty consistent on keeping their themselves quiet on this. Um, I don't really know why they're saying staying this way, but whatever. So, what do we have to go at with this thing on community? What the community wants for Inferno? Because Inferno is one of the more favorite maps of everyone's that I know at least. I enjoyed it, but it ends up with a lot of bullshit on it. I fucked that up. Anyway, so. One of the things is larger choke points, like where everyone knows who's played Inferno quite regularly since, well, a long time ago. Generally, someone always asks everyone, you know, hey, anyone have a smoke or anyone smoke CT or anyone smoke this? Because it's so choke pointy and a smoke will almost guarantee that bomb plant if the counter-terrorist team is not overly aggressive. Now, this doesn't go for all situations, but overall, it's very choke pointy and very narrow and centric on, um, on the maps. It's just, they're banana, very narrow, and one nade, if it's a five-man rush up banana, one nade can pretty much ruin that whole rush because, well, it's so narrow, it lands in the middle of everyone, practically. And an experienced player on Inferno is just deadly. So, what else can we change? Well, make the doorway in 
terrorists spawn larger because, well, we all know those assholes who like to block the doorways in spawn. Make it a little larger, and that should be problem solved, other than maybe a four-man cube blocking that one unlucky guy. That's very unfortunate, but whatever. But we need to make the doorways larger. Another thing that might bring back some nostalgia from a lot of people from playing 1.6 and Source and all that, add the second exit from T-Spawn back in there, so there's a second exit. Just... Make it there, just so it's easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, you know? So, what else can we possibly do to this map to make it far better? Well, as we all know, this whole fiasco with, um... Well, the whole fiasco with Nuke and everyone bitching about their frame rate drops, including myself, uh, wasn't significant for me, but... Still. It's annoying. Well, we don't need these... 4K and high resolution textures on this engine. I think, or I'm pretty sure Valve is still using Source 1, maybe Source 2, and those aren't really well optimized regardless. Source 2 is better. If it's running on Source 2, correct me. Um, I still think it's running on Source 1. But still, it's not well optimized, and these high resolution textures that we get with this are horrible for, well, CSGO, because CSGO's market is because a lot of people enjoy the 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 ability to play the game without having to have a $4,000 PC. Now, that's an extreme exaggeration, but basically you need roughly a $1,000 PC for a lot of games these days, and that's for the high resolution. Um, most games, or most PCs, can play a lot of games on low resolution, but a lot of games that invest in the higher resolution textures, you generally want the high resolution textures regardless. So, we don't need these high resolution textures. We don't want them Valve. Unless you're one of those COD fanboys who comes to CSGO because you like the skins and your your favorite YouTubers are actually scamming you through your gambling webs through through the gambling websites that they own and promote and not disclose. Yep, T. Martin, Pro Syndicate, all you guys out there who did that shit. So, after that little bit of a rant, um, I'd like to hear what you guys want to see in this map. Do you want to see the larger areas, the map get extended out a little bit, and not too significant, so run times don't take too long? Or what else? Please tell me in the comments below. I'd like to hear it. Um, I'm always open to your ideas. I always enjoy them. Anyway guys, without further ado, please like this video, subscribe if you haven't already and want to see more content, and I will see you guys eventually in the next one.